Nathan's question. Right, so that's two raised to the power of y. These dots, they mean magnification. The idea is for you to simplify this, I believe. Right. Um, this is already written in terms of two. So you're going to do that, you're going to say two. Then when you multiply and the bases are the same, you are adding the indices, right? So you're going to add one plus x plus three. When you get to this part, you multiply the bases. So this is going to give me two raised to the power of x squared minus x. I'm going to change this division to a multiplication and everything that is under comes on top. But here you should recognize the difference of two squares. So if you multiply out these two brackets, you know you have got x plus 1, x minus 1, you should get x squared minus 1 eventually when you multiply it out. So I'm going to put that on top as 2 raised to the power of x squared minus 1. I'm putting it in brackets anyway. All over, this 4 is now 2 squared raised to the power of x plus 1, put that in the bracket. I'm going to just simplify this a bit, clean this up here. Right. And uh, on top you get 2 raised to the power of x plus 4. Then here, because the concept is multiplying numerator, numerator, denominator, denominator. This is then 2 raised to the power of x squared minus 1. So I'm going to add that stuff, get to something. You can also do that. Or I can also, if I see something that can be uh, cancelled, I will do that as well. This is going to be x squared, 2x again, plus 1. Right. So you have two ways that you can do this. In fact, one of the things you should know, this is, multi this is just one term over one term. There are no pluses or minuses. So if I had exactly the same thing here and there, I would be cancelled. But I can't because they are not the same. So on top, I will add the indices. So that becomes 2 raised to the power of x squared. So maybe you need to do um, it on the side so you can get the concept. You have got something like that. Oh, what happened with the four? The four here. It comes under right. Oh, it comes under. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. And this way. So here it will be that under. Under. Or here. Oh, okay. Where are we getting that one? And what is it supposed to be? 2x plus 2. Are you happy? And our numerator is still fine. Our numerator is still fine. Okay. Say our numerator is still fine. Our denominator, we're going to add these two together. So we can do it on the side. You can say x squared minus x. Because I'm adding, there's no need for me to really put brackets. You understand? All right? I'm only be putting brackets if I'm subtracting. But you can go ahead and put brackets anyway. So I've got x squared. 2x minus x is just square root. Plus x plus 2. So I'm going to bring all that. It's going to be x squared plus x plus 2. Right. From here, we're dividing. So we're going to subtract these two from each other. So 2 raised to This whole thing here should be subtracted from that whole thing there. So it means x squared plus x plus 3. You minus x squared. What is it? Plus x plus 2. That gives you that, that gives you that, 3 minus 2 gives you that. So at the end of the day, it is what you're left with. And the answer is 2. Nathan, are you happy? Now, Nathan will stay next to your question because I want to take a picture of you there. So, some day, Nathan, stand next to your question. This is an order. Stand next to your question before I give you another one. Right? Come stand next to your question. You can even stand with your picture next to your question. Nathan, stand next to your question right here. Nathan? That's all I need. Stop the text. He got it right there. Whatever method you want to do.